I certainly rise in support of this resolution and know that this commission will have a, a tough job ahead of it. But we, we can't run from what nobody seems to want to mention, gig economy. Unless we all believe that we're going to go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and there'll be no more iPhones and there'll be no more apps, then we're kidding ourselves about this new gig economy. It's not going away, it's here to stay. We need to figure out how do we fit in in labor with this new gig economy. Some may say a gig economy is just a way of paying workers less, no benefits, no pensions, no job protections. And that's probably true. But we are the only ones that can fix that. Why should we sit back and say that these workers, whether they're called union workers or independent workers or gig economy workers, shouldn't have the same benefits and privileges as those of us that enjoyed in the labor movement? We need to fix this, and we are the only ones that can fix this. In New York City, and Rich, you stood online with me some 20 years ago at Black Car Drivers. And we fought for years about changing them from independent workers to employees and spent millions of dollars doing it. We had some gains, but not that many. And while we fought and spent millions of dollars, the workers weren't getting anything. They, we stood out there and fought every day. Well, the machinist union decided we're not going to do that in two seconds. One with the lobster men in Maine. We decided to get together with a group of owners who needed some help, who needed some legislative power. And we were able to do it. And now we have union lobsters, delivered union, picked up union. We kicked Federal Express out of there the minute we negotiated the union lobster men and put United Parcel Service in there. So the lobster is union from the time it's touched to the time it gets to your door. Uber workers, it's like a bad word. Uber workers, why shouldn't we help these workers? It's like they got the plague because they're called uh, gig economy or app uh, rideshare employees, or not employees, independent workers. Well, we in the machine issue union decided not to do that. And of course, we, there's some criticism even from within our own group. People are not believers. What can you do? Well, we decided to start an independent driver's guild. We could have decided to spend millions and millions of dollars in fighting courts and get it tied up in courts, but I did that with you 20 years ago. We decided we're not going to do that again. Instead, we're going to stick up and work for, work for the rights of workers and workers' families. 60,000 Uber drivers in New York City now have a voice at the table. Grievance besieges. What do we do? Did the impossible that nobody ever thought we can do. Without traditional collective bargaining, we managed to bring in just true collective action. 17,000 signatures to the Taxi Limousine Commission filed a petition that said any rideshare app has to provide a tip on the rideshare app as well. And we won that issue and put $350 million back in the pockets of Uber drivers in New York City. 17% we raised their wages without traditional agreements. This commission needs to look at that. We need to make tough decisions, and we need to be there for workers regardless of what they're called. Thank you.